this is a demo of the custom attributes on file versions. Um, my name is Magnus Lindgren. I'm a software developer with the Rational Group working on the Rational Team concept. Um, Rational Team concept introduces support for creating custom attributes on source file versions. In previous releases, it was possible to create user properties for file versions. However, these user's properties could not be modified after the file version was checked in. Adding or, mo or modifying a, one of the new custom attributes that does not result in a new version of the file. Also, it was not possible to query for file versions using the user properties. The new custom attributes can be used for queries. The goal of this feature is to support extensibility and traceability for source files. Um, here are some examples of how it can be used. Um, a developer can record additional comments on, about a specific file version uh, even after it's been delivered uh, using a comments at attribute. A development lead can write a script that runs a static analysis tool on the team source code and save file specific errors or warnings into an attribute uh, on the specific source file version. Code inspection information can be recorded on source code. For example, it can be recorded whether a file version has been inspected and who inspected it. Um, in the current release of Rational Team Concert, setting and querying for custom attributes is supported in the command line interface. This is useful for scripting and customization. So before a uh, user can create these custom attributes, it, they had to be defined um, in the project area. These custom attributes are defined um, using the web client um, and the user must have administrative access to the project area to be able to define the custom attributes. Within the project, project area, uh, there's now a source control tab which contains the attribute definition. Um, this is a list of the currently defined um, custom attributes for this um, for this uh, project um, area uh, and uh, files within this project area can use these custom attributes. Uh, here you can um, edit the current cus custom attributes or, or you can delete it if, if necessary. Uh, we're going to add one here. Let's add a review comment um, attribute. Uh, the modifiable means that it can be um, modified even on checked in versions. Uh, we also define a default value. It's not necessary to define it, but, uh, but it's useful in some cases. We also have a behavior when uh, the, a new file version is created. Um, we have uh, one behavior is to not create the attribute, which means that uh, when a new version of a file is checked in, the, this custom attribute will not be um, created for that, um, for that file version uh, and uh, nothing will, will happen with the new file version. Uh, we also have copied the attribute value from the previous version, which means that uh, this custom attribute will be copied from from the predecessor of this of this file version, and both the both the name and the value will be copied. And the last option we have is reset the attribute value to the default value, which will copy the the custom attribute name and uh, set the value to the default value that we specified here above in this add attribute dialog. Then we can add that to the list of specified um, 
custom attributes for this product area and save the product area. Command line interface is is used to access the custom attribute. The supported commands are set, unset, get, and show custom attribute. Uh, with these commands, the files can be um, can have their custom attributes accessed and ma manipulated. There is also support for a query function to uh, look up uh, which file versions have a specific custom attribute, etc., which will be demoed later. The show command will will give a list of um, of all the custom attributes on the on the specified file. In this case, I'm I'm specifying all the files within the examples folder. Uh, so we'll get a list of all the custom attributes for each of the files within that folder. Here we see the three files within that folder, uh, which have some um, predefined attribute that I set up earlier. Um, they all have reviewer and reviewed, uh, and um, the old test.java has a comment also that it needs review. Let's say that the old test.java has been reviewed. Um, we will set the, the review value value for this um, for this file um, to true to show that it's been reviewed, um, and uh, we need to update the comment uh, also. Here we set the reviewed attribute to true, and we'll update the comment to show that it was reviewed and what date it was reviewed. And this will change uh, the other uh, custom attribute on this specific file. Now we list the attributes again to see if um, make sure that all our changes have been registered. And note that um, all these changes are done directly into the database and uh, no new versions of any of the files have been created. Here we can see on the on the new list that uh, the comment has been updated uh, with the review date uh, which we set and we have set the reviewed value to true uh, to show that the that the file has been reviewed. If you're only interested in one specific custom attribute on the file, you can use the get custom attribute command command to get that specific attribute. Um, and we're gonna look up the comment attribute that we are set on the all test.java uh, file. And we can see that it's been updated um, as we saw before in the list, but here we just see the the specific custom attribute that we're interested in. The custom attributes can also be used within uh, queries. Um, here we have a query to, to look up um, all uh, files within the baseline um, which is specified here with the UUID um, which is fairly cryptic um, and has the reviewed attribute set to false. Um, in this case um, we, we're working on the same set of files uh, so in this case we should get um, the, the math.java and the vector.java uh, which was uh, the the two files that was that still had the the reviewed set to false. We can also combine um, different um, 
custom attributes uh, to uh, make more advanced queries. In this case, we want to find out which uh, files within this um, within this uh, baseline uh, that uh, hasn't been reviewed less yet and have uh, Lisa as the reviewer. Uh, I also added dash i to, to uh, print out the version identifier just uh, to show that that's possible to see what version of the specific file we're working on. In this case it's uh, vector.java version 6 uh, which uh, hasn't been reviewed by Lisa yet. The query string also support precedence by, by adding parentheses and uh, the or statement. So in this case we're going to look up uh, files uh, with reviewer uh, Mike or with reviewer John that's part of this baseline. Um, so in this case that would uh, would should give us the all tests.java and the math.java which it does. Um, we also support um, checking for existence of uh, attribute. So in this case, we want we're just going to check and see which files within this baseline has the attribute comment. Um, it's only one, so um, that should give us the all test.java. Um, So, um, which it does. So, uh, uh, that would uh, conclude uh, this short demo about the uh, custom attributes on uh, file versions. Um, uh, thank you for watching, and um, let me know if you have any comments or questions. Thank you.